pals. We are watching X-Men 97, episode 5, Remember It. Here we go. Some flashing light sequences or patterns may affect photosensitive viewers. Has that always been there? Is today the day? Is it going to happen? Am I going to be like having convulsions or what do you call it? I think convulsions is the word. They always change like little things here and there yeah. in the opening. It's so fascinating. Last week was a part one and this is not a part two of that. That's true. Some call them monsters, but all over the planet, they are known as mutants. mutants. Fortunately, helping us build those bridges is a journalist as esteemed as yourself. I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> it turned red. <laughs> Not like regular boring classes. More hands-on learning, you know? But with big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. <laughs> she says it so casually. Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. People who have fallen through the cracks, desperate oh. to belong. So sad. That sense of belonging goes worldwide as the UN formally admits Genosha. Oh, okay. That's good. Please remember that should the Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would be an issue. <laughs> Magneto's always just taking him down a notch and I know. emasculating him. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. Uh, Char's favorite instrument. It's fun. Oh, they love Magneto here. Oh, how cool. It's like mutant heaven. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just out and happy. It's like West Hollywood for mutants. Yeah. Or San Francisco. That's like the, the little kid from like the earlier episode who was caught by those militant people. You see the signs that said Magneto was right? <laughs> well, yeah, they like Magneto here. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. The interim council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. <laughs> mm. Two always True better that. than one, and far better than three. <laughs> Magneto, the interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. Privately, if possible. I feel bad for Gambit. I know. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you, furball? We shall play tourist as the council speaks with Magneto. We have much to discuss since our gothic adventure amid the Alps. Come. Let's go. It's a lot of fun. Everything around us would not have been possible without the work of the X-Men. We keep seeing those, these three. <laughs> The well, skeleton yeah, guy. They, well, I remember the little green kid. They found him under the tunnels. Always used to say we'd have a place all our own one day. More than a place. A home. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad is charging pretty high rent. <laughs> Versing a nation overnight is not without its share of stumbles. Ignore him. So I can't help but ruin honey. Well, maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. Hmm. Oh, man. Like, why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? So something underneath the surface is problematic with this little space? Maybe. That sucks. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's the indication coming from Gambit. He's just cautious, I guess. Yeah, but classically in stories, that caution usually leads to an uncovering of something. Yeah. A man named Gambit. Your poker face is very poor. <laughs> Didn't go ringing for no priest. It does not take a priest to see you and Rogue Souls touch in every gaze. Ain't the touch she be looking for. She got a new dude. Well, an old dude. <laughs> Just marry Isabelle and be done. You can't right now. Scoundrels like me, we don't get no white picket reward. We too busy for love. Too busy sinning. You tell him, Gambit. It's the life we've chosen. Are you surprised to see such a bold move in world politics? Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. <laughs> Those shades are weirded out the lights. Can you take them off? I was no. feeling it too. I was like, what's going on? Why is it then I remember the warning. You're skipping the questions, too. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. Even reacquainting myself with my psychic powers feels strange. Like the face of an old friend seen from every angle but the one in your memory. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years. <laughs> I remember so many things. Maybe there's a chance. So many with Scott. Oh. I asked Scott to go on a picnic at sunset. He was scared. Afraid the phoenix had changed me. I wanted to reassure him. 
I wanted to show her. I gotta show you that episode. The Phoenix episodes? They're great. I could already feel the universe speaking to me. Much like Scott used to, through our special psychic rapport. She takes off my ruby glasses, which hold back my powers. I needed to anchor myself because every fiber of me hungered to leave and travel the cosmos right then. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. Hmm. And we could see each other's eyes. He's wow. sharing this on the news? I know. It's a lot of information. I know. It's probably not gonna make people feel calm <laughs> about mutants. Keep moving, because the past will yank you under if you don't. I forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. Oh, well. <laughs> That's not technically true. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh! What? Hello. I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Wow. He, he's, he's lived a long time. He's gentleman. just like, he's looking out for himself. He's doing it right. He's like, I know where this goes. You guys patch things up and then I'm left out. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to Scott and Jean Grey Summers. Oh, God. I spoke to a Dr. Bryans there. He said you told your teammate to hold Rogue. That jerk wouldn't deliver my... Uh-oh, don't lose your cool on TV. I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. Mm. And you lie. Why lie? Because uh, I mean, you're normal. Yeah, exactly. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh this is man. Great. I hope that wasn't live. That did not go well. You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. Hilarious. Can't be hmm. done. Aye, but Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it, but if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. Ah, <sighs> he's like a second-rate Charles. We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. I laughed at him. Sentimental or suicidal? Both earn an early grave. Magneto, any dream worth having is a dream worth dying for. That's interesting. We would carry the dream, but never live it. Look, Magnus, I may not be Jean Grey, but That's I know what the truth would actually. Say if he was here. The Moses comparison. Mm. You shall have me. Oh shit. On one condition. Okay. I ought to knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gambit does not stand a chance. An X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. A true leader. An empathetic one. He's going to win her over. I need help. You take me for a fool. Acting like this is all about you and the professor. I won't deny that. Loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. We would be lucky to have you. Wow. Is she gonna reject him still? Come on. Ugh. I can't believe I've lost it like that. Oh, Scott, anger is normal, even for mutants. I'm a little surprised that Magneto's given in. I guess it makes sense. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. Mm. It reminds me of... Of us. It's rough. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess she doesn't... Don't tell me! What? What? If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Oh! Oh! Something wrong, Miss Pryor? Oh my god, my head is spinning. Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop and oh let me explain. God, oh my god! He has no control over that! I know what I saw. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Uh, a month. Oh, he knows? I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended go, up- Go, to Genosha. Be oh with my Chloe. god. No, she's it's been all like, caught on camera. She's been like hanging out in his mind. Do you love her? I- Yeah. Love both, both of, of you. you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You said the wrong thing. Lie, man, lie. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. The music's changing and you need a chair. Oh my god, what a problem to have. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? Oh God, what the hell? Jean, what is it? She's got sweats, what's going on? I don't know. 
My head is spinning right now. This is like such a fun soap opera. Wasn't expecting a lady caller. What's wrong, Shia? You best sit down. Oh no, we're breaking up. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. The man seemed nice enough. This is kind of predatory, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my That's power. an outfit. That's an outfit. I, God dang. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, <laughs> Oh my god. He's in full pimp mode. Oh that, my goodness. But then I started seeing the hurt in him, like raging waters. Mm. When I joined the X-Men. <laughs> He's like, why are you burdening me with this information? <laughs> you gonna accept his offer? If I can play a bigger role in bettering the world, well, that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. Why is she sharing this? I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. Oh, Damn. man. Oh, this is cutting deep. Light up everything you touch, but never me. Something's a bit deeper than skin, Shea. Wow. I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Gambit always knows the odds. In mm -hmm. this game, you do. Till then, we be friends, Mona me. Oh, no more. It would just be that the sexiest Shea. man alive goes for the one woman he can't have. Oh, man. I'm waiting for you, Gambit. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. Oh, dang. Good counter. If it eases your mind, Magneto accepted only on the condition that we asked one of the X-Men to govern with him. Rogue. What did she say? Yes. Oh, there oh, she is. Oh, yeah, looking dang. gorgeous. <laughs> dang. Where's your no chivalry at all? I just shoved her ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my heart. Damn it. Oh, yeah. oh, like why no. does he keep watching? This is like a train wreck. <laughs> Can't look away. Damn. Well, her concentration is the ball, you know? Yeah. The appearance and being queen, et cetera, et cetera. Oh. I mean, I understand her, too. It's like, ew, what? Ew, what? Stop. What do you mean, ew, what? You're in public! It's a display. Oh, this is okay. the new rulers. These are the new rulers. Turn it off! The music! What is it? Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Oh, oh, goodness. What is happening? Is something happening to their son? Oh my god, the drama. They got some kind of twin connection. Yeah. Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Oh no. Some things are deeper than skin. Oh shit. Oh. Well, it's too bad Remy left. I would have. She's all <laughs> making out and getting close. I know. Close and... I would have as well. Kill the music. Cable. You have to get everyone out. Now. He's coming. Who's coming? I... Cable, what's going on? Buddy's like. No, no. Not again. Cable? Isn't that her son? Yeah. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. Just like that. Sorry for what? What, what? the what? hell? What? What? what the hell? So no! Oh my goodness. Yo, this episode is nuts. <laughs> What do they have against the music? Do they not like Ace of Base? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was the music that was the issue. It's the fact that they're mutants. Oh, oh no. Get to the gardens, hurry! Oh shit. <laughs> that would be the time to attack, you know, during a big mutant gathering. Yeah. That said, <gasps> kind of makes them an army. Oh no. Oh shit, it are hurts. you for real? Oh, she can't touch him. Where are your gloves? Remy. Are you alive? Barely. How many? Too many. So many. Some vile Godzilla sentinel. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, my God. Can't even dent it. They're oh, trying to man. evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks, what? They, they stuck in the bay, right under its belly. Oh, no. A promise was made. Dang. Oh my 
goodness. I draw its fire away from the gardens. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. All right. Never much care for roulette. How do you propose All to right, do that? Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh. Get it, Gambit! Yes! Yeah. She's like, my place is fighting with you, Remy. Oh, oh no, no, not a statue. Kind of symbolic, isn't it? Yeah, like no matter the outcome. They shall be a Whoa. Uh-oh. Didn't do anything. Come. All right. Okay, maybe that did something. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit. Damn. Yes. Oh shoot. Oh, they cut off that beat too oh, quick. Sorry, Miss Me. Now kindly follow me. <laughs> oh man, friend detected. Uh-oh. Oh jeez. Oh, Who's the It's him, right? He's the Omega level threat. Who's Oh no. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Oh, too dangerous, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Lord. He's trying to protect us, bro. Oh, my gosh. He's not going to die, is he? Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of oxed. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, shit. Oh no. Woo! Oh, she's gonna be pissed at him too now. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, 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 no. And raise it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Be in my Yo, right. this is crazy. Oh no! Oh. No, they're not! Not today! Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit, on a me. Oh. <laughs> he just connected oh, his entire yeah. self to you, so. He's gonna eliminate that thing. Yeah. Remember it. Did she lose both of them? To reiterate for those just returning to us, regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see may be disturbing. Maybe. There's no way time travel doesn't factor into the story now. Like, hit the undo button on this. Oh, man. Sugar. Damn. I, I can't feel you. Oh. Oh no. Oh man. Oof. Well shit, dude. That's wild. Interesting that Cable came back to warn his mom about the Sentinels. And so it makes me wonder if maybe they're from the future or something. And that's why they're so badass. That might be possible. Or maybe that he just knew that this event was going to happen and he knew the devastation that was yeah. going to occur. So he came back with a warning. Yeah, I, 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 I'm wondering... This is probably far-fetched, but I'm wondering if this is something Cable has tried to deal with multiple times. Mm, that would be interesting, yeah. if we, especially if we finally got to see an episode from his point of view, where like he keeps coming back and maybe like it's like a Groundhog Day sort of yeah. situation, yeah. or uh, Edge of Tomorrow kind of thing. I'm yeah. wondering if that's what he was going through, because there's no way you kill off Magneto and Gambit in the same episode and then that's that with them. Right. But th that doesn't take away the pain she's feeling in that moment. That's a very real pain that she's experiencing in that moment. Ideally, we can 
undo it and she gets her peoples back. I was that, so mad at her. That was a crazy self-sacrifice that Gambit had done. Yeah. He's like he eliminated that thing. What was fascinating to me is the end shot was so reminiscent. I know it's DC, but it was so reminiscent of the death of Superman to me. Lois Lane holding Clark uh -huh, after yeah. his battle with Doomsday. That is also just an image that is just so prevalent in classical art as well. Like you I got, don't know. You got, it was like a you battle got Mary, to the... You got Mary holding Jesus I just understand. like I, that. Ch Char, I understand, but like we're talking about devastation, like an apocalyptic okay, fucking fine. event happened. <laughs> and like, fine. you know, <laughs> this dude is being held by the woman he loves. Fine, <laughs> it's, fine. It's very reminiscent. I'm not trying to shoot you down. I agree with you. It is a classic classic image. I half agreed as soon as you said it, but I'm just saying like comic book to comic book, you know, it's like this a crazy event. It's crazy. Yeah. It was heartbreaking. Also, because I love Gambit. He went out like a hero. She was kind of triggering me. The level of just like sticking it in and twisting the knife with her words is just like, what are you, what are you, what is your, what are you hoping is going to happen at the end of these sentences that you're saying that's coming out of your face? In the breakup scene oh. with Gambit? It's not necessarily a breakup scene. It's like she's letting her know that she, she she's going to stay behind and be queen of Genosha. Then what's breaking up to you? They're not actually together. She's with Magneto. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? They So she's always been with Magneto. I know that they said like, oh, we were not putting a label on it or whatever. But clearly she was with Gambit. At one point. Yeah. But... They couldn't, I don't know what the limitations are of their I, relationship. I mean, I understand but, where she's coming from, which is like, I want to be in a relationship where I can touch my man. But also it was just supremely frustrating because I'm like, no, you're not meant to be with Magneto. You're meant to be with Gambit mm. and you're breaking his heart and he's being such a gentleman about it. And he's all like, we can just be friends, mon ami. I feel bad for Gambit, dude. Like he's just getting totally emasculated. <laughs> Every time he tries to inject something, then Magneto just kind of squashes him down. He's, yeah. Magneto's like, look, I've been around for decades and I look this good. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm ahead of you every time. Like, you say something, I'm going to counter you back with a much better comeback, dude. You just better sit there and shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> and like, I'm a grown-up. Daddy's a child. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then she's dancing in front of him, too. No I warning. Know. No heads up. That's you why know. I was just, just so annoyed. It's like, you're in front of people. And not just people. You're in front of Gambit. I mean, Yes, I understand he left before mm -hmm. he saw them kiss, but still, that's just like that's so painful. Why don't you just do a normal dance? You need to be like making out. Yeah, it's oh man, I've been there. I've had that that exact same kind of situation happen to me. Really? And it was fucked. <laughs> it was so bad. I was so I was like I was dying inside. So like when 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 Gambit was watching them dance, I was having like major PTSD flashbacks of high school. I'm like oh Christ, not this again. Yeah, I felt bad for him. And a good thing he walked out too. But he still like loved her and the yeah, self-sacrifice to, to save her like he to the <laughs> end you don't just stop loving someone he's not gonna be like bitch you can die you know <laughs> that's probably what he should do <laughs> no i'm kidding obviously but this is the best way to make her feel bad <laughs> take yourself out destroying the sentinel yeah the super sentinel whatever the hell that remember was remember me this way it was like it was like a creature from hell i know it thing. was horrific like the whole scene of destruction when it was just like blasting all the mutants and you know they were just out there having a party celebrating and then in they come and just blow everything up it's awful the whole thing with uh cyclops and then find gene gray finding out that madeline Pryor is in his head i'm like whoa what is happening yeah, right I now saw your brain was yeah. literally just like exploding you yeah. were the the brain explosion yeah. emoji right yeah. then you're like i don't know no, what's what's going on but like gene gray kiss wolverine and she has the audacity she has the audacity to throw shots at Cyclops. It's like, you kiss someone. Like, this is just in his head. You actually kiss someone else. It's a woman's prerogative. That's evil. <laughs> like, let's just call it square, you know? Like, he did a thing that pissed you off. This is how you all fuck us up. Because, like, you make us feel way bad for things. It's just like, yo, is, is it that big of a deal? It's just in his head. Yeah, it's that big of a deal. No, it's not. That's Especially, in, she's all like, how long has it been going for? He's look, like, a month. Look, he's, <laughs> Jesus. He lost his son, 
Okay. Uh, yes, I understand that. He's grieving. And so the only person who can truly understand his grief right now is his wife. I was going to say ex-wife. I don't know. Madeline. But, oh, but, but she's like, she's she's giving him grief for being in love with the alternate version of her. It's like he didn't know. It's such a messed up situation. But, like, it's so complicated. Like, but I, how how mad could you possibly be at him? He was, he thought he was in love with, he thought he was with you. He yeah. thought he made a baby with you. It's like, <laughs> that's clearly understandable. This you should have known the difference. Yeah. I, you should have been able to tell. I thought we had something special. You know, you sometimes, you know, you envy men in these like situations that seem privileged and then you see what they go through and you're like, oh my God, that looks awful. <laughs> but Jean, Jean's also going through some shit as well because she doesn't know who she is anymore. She doesn't know which memories are hers and which aren't hers. And I suppose maybe there's a certain sense of comfort from hanging out with Logan because, you know, he's just like, well, I know a thing or two about that. But the best thing to do is just focus on the present. So she's just got to get it together and start living her life and forming some new memories. Maybe she needs to break up <laughs> with, uh, with does Scott. Wolver does Wolverine just like... It, it, it's, I can't tell if the move he made was like the mature move or the stupid move. It's like, okay, you've been pining after this woman forever. And she finally kisses you. I mean, I don't know. I, can't, I don't know if in the original show they ever kissed. This is a real moment where she's kissing you and she's like feeling you. She's vibing with you. And you're like, no. There's a part of me that goes, maybe he's just thinking three steps ahead because he knows the outcome of this if he pursues it, right? Right, which is she'll eventually end back with uh, Scott. But there's another part of me that goes, maybe you just like pain and you just like this situation that Gambit's in. Like, you just like being in a situation where you can't have her because then what, 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 are, what are you brooding about now? If you have the woman that you've been wanting this whole time, you've got no fight left. There's no, there's no battle, it's over. I don't understand how a man's brain works, let alone how- What do you mean a man's brain? This is like, this is any, like, don't put gender on this. This is like, if, if okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Whatever. I think I'm going nowhere with this. I'm just it's just such a wild situation. It's no, because like, he could have everything that he wants, because right now it's almost like she's a blank slate. If she's digging him, then maybe they could get together. But he's being a gentleman. And also maybe he's she not made gonna make the first move. Well she... maybe he's not going to take advantage of the situation when she's like not in her right mind. I'm I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm saying he's being a gentleman. This is a crazy episode. What's going on? Like there last week was like to be continued. I know. What's going on? I'm the so confused. Hell? Who does a to be continued episode, a part one? Yeah. And then doesn't drop part two immediately after. I thought we were going to like catch up with Storm, catch up with Storm and see some cool shit there. I mean, I'm not complaining about this episode. This episode was wild, mm. <laughs> but I'm just like, what? why title it at part one? The outcome wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be, because when Gambit got suspicious about the situation, I thought there was going to be something nefarious going on under the surface that we were going to learn about. But instead, it was just like, this is a planned attack because they all came together to try to move things forward politically, I suppose. And then they got us, they, they were ambushed. I suppose I should have seen it coming, but like, yeah, that was, anyway, 